Hi, I'm June Williamson, AKA the Happy Thai Girl, and today on Cooking Made Easy with June, we'll be making a wonderful gluten-free apple crisp. Finding things to make on a restrictive diet can be hard, so you're really gonna love this one. That's coming right up on Cooking Made Easy with June. So here we are. We want to thank the good folks at Macy's because they had everything for my recipe today. And I'm so excited. And they had a sale on butter, it's awesome. So we're gonna make apple crisp today that's gluten-free. And we have here today my niece, Tara, and her daughter, Aubrey. Are you so excited? <laughs> you don't look excited. I want you to jump up and down and go, okay. So anyway, so it's, apple crisp is really easy. No, well actually tell us a little bit about gluten-free challenges. You're celiac, right? So Yeah, so celiac, you can't have anything with wheat, rye, barley, and certain oats depending on how they're harvested. Oh. oh. So it just makes it risky <laughs> I won't for put that in. contamination. <laughs> okay, so I and see. And so when you have celiac, your body isn't able to break down that gluten. Okay. So it just kind of freaks out and it starts attacking the rest of your body. So what are some of your bigger ch challenges? Like, you know, especially when you have Aubrey. Aubrey, do you like everything that you've been eating all your life so far? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what are some of your favorite dishes? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna start cutting over talking. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna cut the apples first, so. Um, she loves tomato soup with black beans. Ooh. But finding tomato soup that's gluten-free is hard to find. Okay, so you have to make your own. So we're yes. going to try to do a lot of gluten-free recipes here awesome. on the show. Um, because a lot of people do have that challenge. Um, so so that's the nice thing about making your own food and cooking made easy. It's just more healthy and naturally healthy. Yes. Because when, when you, you know what you put in there. So... Um, so tell me a little bit about, again, about the gluten-free, what do you do to, like, some of the substitutes, maybe? So the biggest substitute I use is just, actually, Bob Red Mills has okay. a, This is great. Yes. A lot of other flours, like coconut or almond. Yeah. And they also have master mixes, which are my favorite, because they've already taken all the different types of flours, oh. mixed them up to make it equivalent to regular flour texture. It must be a good seller because they didn't, they ran out of that kind of, that you like at Macy's, but they had this. They had a yes. whole line of Red Mill. Yes, so Bob that's is awesome. great. So that's what we love to use, and it's pretty much it. it. So that's not too bad. I mean, there's so many different substitutes. So we're making apple crisp. Yes. So, I mean, really, it's naturally gluten free overall. And the only thing we really need to substitute is a little bit of flour that we yep. have in there. And so we don't even have to add, uh, add the oats because I wasn't 100% sure on. No, they can what be touchy. Oats. It's okay. <laughs> so, so apples, apple for apple crisp. I love apples. You know, I've even used like the old apples because what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, cut up the apples. I'm gonna leave the peeling on, and this is Pink Lady. So the, even the old apples are awesome because I'm gonna put a squeeze of lime in my apple for um, for the apple crisp and for the apple pie. <laughs> and so because it, it, it brings it up more, it freshens it up. So and also when you don't have as tangy of an apple or you could use, or if you pick apples from the trees, I'm not very perfect. Now I'm doing it this way because um, have you ever used one of those apple peeler core or whatever they call it? No. Like peeler core, yes. Yeah. So Tell so I cool. think they're so hard because your apple has to be perfect. Don't you think? Yes, or what? you have it spot on. Oh, yeah. so I tried that and it's so hard. So I feel like this is the easiest thing to do is to just slice it like this. And I love the peelings on the apples. Now, if you're some of your Granny Smith, if you use Granny Smith and the the peeling is hard, uh, thicker, then I would peel it and I would just mix some peeled and some not peeled. So um, so we'll keep cutting. Well, I'm cutting. Maybe what I'll do is. Um, well, well, we'll go ahead and start with the topping. Okay. Okay, so let's see. How are you going to like doing this? <laughs> All right, so one of, some of the ways to soften the butter is let it sit out or put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds. But another easy way that I find is to just grate it and it oh. softens it's really fast. Oh. So I'm going to have you grate that. And we only need like, um, I'll, I'll post a recipe, but it's about a cup and a couple tablespoons. But today, let's put your... Let's put it, do it like this so you can, won't cut your finger. You wanna try that? Or I guess you wash your hands so it doesn't really matter. So we'll hold this and go ahead and start grating it. And then your mom can help you. So we're gonna soften the butter by grating it, especially when you're in a hurry. And sometimes I stick the butter in the microwave and then it just melts. Yeah, because <laughs> I keep it in too long. It takes it too far. So we just grate the butter. Tell you wanna help her yeah. make it go a little bit faster. And I'll cut this. So um, again, on the apple crisp, 
Oh, I'm going to tell you about, more about apples. So one day, um, my oh, girls fingers? came back and for, they have, Mom, I have a church activity and I was supposed to bring an apple pie or for a contest or something. I'm like, what? So we just grabbed a bunch of apples in the basket and they were old. And we just like threw it in like within like a few minutes and we didn't do a bottom crust because we did it really fast. I should have made apple crust, but I made an apple pie. And it won. <laughs> And it's, I think it's because of the lime juice that I added to freshen it up. So we're going to do that in a minute. So, okay, good job. Okay, so let's add, um, you know what, since I'm not, I added the coconut flour. Now, we do have to adjust a few things when we do gluten-free. Is there paper in this or is it? No. Nope. Oh, that's good. So we're doing about a half recipe because I already started another batch. Okay? okay. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of flour and about a third cup. Um, where's this? Oh, just kind of pour it in there a little bit. <laughs> I'm really easy cooking. Okay, so I noticed that um, it's a little bit dry if we don't, let's, let's just, just, I'm gonna use my hands. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. So it's a little bit dry. So um, we'll post the recipe though. It's a little bit dry if you put too much um, of the, of the uh, substitute flour, so we can put that. And um, let's see what else. I think that's, okay, and you can use this, or let me get my thingy. I don't, I forgot what it's called, it's this thingy. What do you think is good? Oh, <laughs> it's a. I can't think of it either. Oh my gosh! You use I'm a on TV, so I forget. It's a. <laughs> I can't remember. You could use it if you don't have it, and if you you could use a fork if you don't have one. I mean, you know, you could also press it with a fork, and it makes it crumbly. Is it like a pastry? Yes, a pastry Jeez. cutter. Cutter. There we go. Yes, pastry cutter. cutter. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit more apples while she's doing good that. Good job, Aubrey. And go ahead and add a little bit of cinnamon, and just kind of sprinkle it on there. Yeah. How much do you want? Just a little bit. Just want to like do like a, a pinch? Yeah, a pinch. I love cinnamon. So Great so job, good. Aubrey. I'm going to cut a few more apples. And then um, for the sake of time. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to fill this up. I'm going to do one more apple. I'm going to core that a little bit. And I, you know, apples is funny. One time I was on this health kick when I first went to college. And somebody convinced me that... Everything is so good if you eat everything. So for a while, I was eating everything, the core and everything. And I just got used to eating the seed because they say it's whole food. It's so good for you. That's when I was like really extreme. Oh, yes. <laughs> but it was good, but I don't do that anymore. <laughs> so I cut it off. <laughs> cut it a little bit. Like I even ate it, like that little stem. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't so, waste anything. Okay. So, so I'm going to fill this up with apples. And then I'm going to... For the sake of whatever we're doing here, let me see. Ah! Don't cut yourself. You do that and then you flip it over like that. See? Don't you don't try this at home as a professional on TV. <laughs> no, just kidding. Have you seen those? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then now I'm gonna do a little squeeze of lime and I'm going to have Aubrey. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna just pour. Okay, Aubrey, you wanna squeeze in here and score it a little bit. Okay, I'll be go ahead and squeeze that lime all over that. Good job. There you go. A little bit more. Squeeze the whole thing. You want to lime juice all over the place, so I'm going to squeeze a little more too here. Go ahead, buddy. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let me go. Let me just use this fork. And I don't usually measure, but I'll post the recipe for you guys. So we're just going to stir that up a little bit and add a little bit of sugar, just to barely to cover. Go ahead and add some cinnamon olives. I'm going to add a dash. Aubrey, are you going to say anything? No. <laughs> what are some of your favorite desserts? Do you like apple crisp? Uh, That's awesome. You've never had it? Mm -hmm. oh, Kara, I thought you made apple crisp for her. Oh, she did when she was little. She doesn't oh, remember that. <laughs> what is your favorite dessert, though? Mine or hers? Hers, both of you. You both love them. chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to finish up the chopping and then when we come back, we'll just kind of put it together for you. Okay, so welcome back. I realized I didn't have enough apples. So while we're um, cutting a few more apples and we're hmm. finishing off the chopping, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> we're finishing off the chopping. We're going to ask um, Tara a little bit about how she found out she was celiac. I mean, that a lot of people are. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely more yeah. common now than it was when I was diagnosed. I was diagnosed 10 years ago. 
It took them a really long time to diagnose me. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that it's more common now? Because I think it's all the pesticides in our food. Oh. And we have a higher percentage of wheat in our wheat products in other countries. Oh, they okay. They blend a lot in other countries. Yeah, so. I guess like in Thailand, I don't remember, because we don't eat wheat. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. yeah, I just had a lot of digestive issues and I had headaches and I couldn't keep food down and I was just really tired all the time. You know, I vaguely remember that and we couldn't figure out what was wrong. Yeah, so, so go we ahead. definitely finally figured out what was wrong after a blood test and endoscopy. And so I've been eating gluten free for just over 10 years now. Mm -hmm. And you must feel so much better. Yeah, so much uh. better. Yes. And what about like how, so when Aubrey came along, <laughs> do you remember when you were born? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So how did, I mean, how do you find out that some a child so is celiac? With her, I was always just paranoid because I was like, I have celiac, so I don't want her, I'm worried about her. Okay. But she started having a lot of tummy problems and just like bursting into tears that her stomach hurt. Oh. And so we had a great pediatrician that trusted us and just ran with my mama intuition and did blood tests and also another endoscopy and confirmed it. So we've been eating gluten-free for over three years now. That's so for her. cool because, I mean, all, as moms, you know, you always wonder like, what do we do to yeah. what we're worried about everything, you know? Yes. And so I think, I guess it's the warning sign is that you were celiac and so then you started watching. Yeah, there's just sure. like a slight, you have a, like a 10% higher chance if you have <laughs> someone that you're related to that has yeah. celiacs. Okay. 10% you said? Yeah, I think it was like 10 or 20. It wasn't significant. No, okay. But you have another daughter though and she's not. Yeah, and she's not. And her name is Macy, like Macy's the grocery store. Yes, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> she's so cute and I wish we could be in here, she could be in here, but she would be all over the place. Yep, she would. <laughs> But you have to meet her another time, right? Um, okay, I'll let you squeeze this one. I know you wanted to do that. <laughs> but so anyways, but Macy's, so again, talking about Macy's, we got all this at Macy's. And you now you, you move from American Fork to Spanish Fork, right? Yes. So you have to go to Macy's. Yes, I will have to <laughs> next time I'm down. And they have the little kids' grocery, don't they have the little kid? Yeah, they have the little grocery cards, cards that are so cute. like police officer cars. And oh, I love cards. it. Okay, so I add a little bit more lime juice for this batch, and then, and I did I add some more sugar? Oh, let's add a bit more cinnamon. I'll be just pinch in there, and then I'll put a little bit more sugar on top. And then let's go ahead and put the topping, huh? Yeah. Beautiful. Here's the, I heard that you like the some kind of a baking show. Okay, now, okay, so we mix this, and and uh, the coconut flour is a little bit, um, what do you call it? It Come likes on. moisture. It's a moisture hog, that's okay. for sure. So if we do, if you had other kinds of flour, it may not do as much, so I added a few more oats to make it a little bit more chunky, and I'm just using my hands. So let's do it. This is the fun part of cooking. Mm -hmm. Look how easy this apple crisp is. It'll just have a little different texture when we bake it, but that's okay. So um, now I remember, who was it? Um, I think it was my husband, well, your grandmother, your, it would be your great grandmother, who is it? Um, it would be your grandma, your grandma, Mimi's mom. Uh -huh. That's your great grandmother. Yeah, it's great grandma. <laughs> she was talking about, uh, so my mother in law, she was telling us how they made uh, blueberry cobbler or something. Oh, yum. She would like put it into the apples, like in here. And, well, she would put it on top, then she would bake good? it, and then she would, ooh, yummy. <laughs> and then she would like mix it, in. mix it in, and then she would do a final bake. So that's, a, you know, you could experiment with that. And so that's a southern thing. Yeah, let's throw it in there. Isn't this so much fun, Aubrey? You can just go like this. But awesome. <laughs> okay, so we're going to um, come back, and we're going to put this in the oven, and then we're gonna eat it and taste it and see how it tastes. Now, you can always make more topping too. That's a lot of, not as much topping for the apples, but it's going to be yummy. All right, it's ready. Now, one thing I noticed about this um, gluten-free uh, substitute flours is that it's a little bit drier, especially coconut flour, yes? Mm -hmm. So I added a little bit more butter on top and we can also do that um, with um, the other one. So the, what I love to do with this is to drizzle a little honey on it. And Abby, have you ever used this before? No. Oh, go for it. Just see how it works. See? Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more on the edges right there. I think this is so awesome. And I don't even use this that often, but it's so fun to use when we have it for things like this or for like a 
cup of tea. <laughs> no, no tea. <laughs> but I guess herbal tea, we can drink that. Awesome. Okay, let me see. So we're going to drizzle a little bit more on the edges. See, right there. Okay? So ready to have some? Get a little taste here. Mm. At least I know the apples are going to be good, right? Yes. <laughs> so, oh, okay, I didn't. Oh, yeah, let's touch it. Okay. All right. Uh, how about how about what side do you want? I think I know. Obviously. Oh, look! Oh, that's juicy. How about just a little bit right there? Now you could probably bake this a little bit longer, but um, or some people like it more crispy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's put a little scoop of ice cream right by it. Oops. Okay. Uh, Ice cream scooper is sticky on me. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. There we go. And uh, you can do the honors while I dish up your mom some over here. <laughs> it's on TV, you can't lie. I mean, you can lie a little bit and say it's really good delicious. <laughs> do you like apples though? You have to like apples. Yes. I just did a whole class on apples last week at school. Oh, you made applesauce and apple pie. Oh, Yum. Yeah. What do you think? It's good. It's good. It's so good. I want to say it's awesome. <laughs> yes. Tara? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so well, we're dishing up this, some for me and let's um, let's talk a little bit about now, now you could uh, I think you. I wonder if you could even add more oats to this. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. you know, so you can adjust the recipe to however you want. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So what do you think? I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Thanks, Tara. So good. I'm a little fell. <laughs> you like I'm it? Gonna try. <laughs> the crust is so good. It's awesome. Okay. So let me taste that. I like the nuts in there. Yeah, the nuts are a nice. So touch. I want to make sure the camera sees all this. Okay, you guys getting this? <laughs> A little ice cream on there. Hmm. It's not bad for gluten free. No. It's great. I like the coconut flour. I love coconut and anything though, so. Yes. That's awesome. Okay, so we'll come back in just a few minutes while we eat this and, with, and lick our fingers while we're off camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're coming back. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, this is so good. And it's amazing. You know what I love? I actually really love the coconut flour. I don't feel like as heavy. Mm-hmm. Is that probably it's what it is like with the gluten lighter. and everything? Yeah. While we were while we were gone, we were kind of um I have one more question for you about like, you know, eating out. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. what like tell me a little bit how, what are what are some of your places or what some dishes or what there's a lot of restaurants actually now that have a lot of gluten free, which is super nice, mm -hmm. especially since I have littles. Mm -hmm. And I think like Costa Vida is awesome. Mm. Cubby's has options. Thai Drift. Thai Drift, which is one of her favorite mm -hmm. Thai restaurants. Oh, we can't come to June's house. <laughs> <laughs> They're awesome. Joy Luck. I'm trying to think of a few more. Red Iguana is good, and Maria oh. Bonita's is good. There's definitely options yeah, out there, and a lot of them are aware of cross-contamination and are very paranoid about keeping things. Make it so you don't get sick with How about Thanksgiving, Christmas, or when you get invited to like a dinner and they don't know you're gluten free. So how do you get out of that? Do you just say, uh, oh, or just, how do you find I just eat what I can eat. And I don't like to throw okay. a fit or be fussy about it. Yeah. I just, if I can just have the mashed potatoes, I'll just have the mashed potatoes and turkey. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go home and fill up. And that's just kind of how we do any family meal. And I love it that you're just not like bold about it. I know some people will say, well, I'm gluten free. You have to have the gluten free first. Cause I know you always offer to yeah. bring like and a that's one thing cake. I definitely do is just like I'll bring a salad or something I know that I love and I can kind of mm. control a little bit more or a gluten free dessert but people don't know that it's gluten free right and I love your lemon cake oh yes we have to do it again and we'll make lemon cake okay. oh okay. That it's one's so good. good yes okay so I want to remind everyone again that this apple crisp every single ingredient I got from Macy's 
They have everything. You guys don't have to go shopping at Macy's. <laughs> I bring Macy's. Yes. Say, Macy, let's go to Macy's. Your little sister, you know? I think she would get it. <laughs> 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 the apples are amazing. And right now, and the apples were on sale. I mean, they always have some kind of sale. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I love it. So thank you. Thank you so much, Macy's, um, for everything. For the cooking show. I'm so, so excited that it's happy shopping at Macy's. And it makes me happy to have my own show. It's so exciting. And I love to have friends over and yes. so anyways um follow me happy tie girl um instagram happy tie girl facebook happy tie girl.com i know in your face happy <laughs> you gotta be happy <laughs> and happy shopping at macy's thank you again